friends and welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Callie Bransford. I'm super pumped to have you here because today I'm going to be sharing with you everything my toddler eats in a week. Actually, a little bit of confession. It's not actually an entire week because sharing a week worth of food felt really exhaustive to me, but like one day didn't seem like enough. So I did like five days. I feel like it's a good middle ground. <laughs> I have a few quick things that I want to say before I jump into this video that I feel like will give it more context and make it make more sense and maybe answer some frequently asked questions. Firstly, and most importantly, this is everything that I feed my child in a day, not necessarily everything my child eats in a day. A very good portion of the things that end up on my child's plate do not end up in my child's mouth and then in my child's belly. A lot of it is not touched or a lot of it is spit out and a lot of it ends up on the floor. My general guidelines when I feed my son is to put one thing on his plate for every meal that I know he will eat because because then his tummy is getting full and I don't have to worry about him being hungry. And then I put one thing on his plate that he will maybe eat. This is maybe something that he sometimes eats or he's eaten once in the past, but he doesn't always eat. And then at least once, usually twice a day, I try to put something on his plate that he has never eaten before. This is either something completely new or something that has been on his plate a lot of times and he has never eaten before. Because I am definitely not a toddler expert, but I can tell you one thing that I definitely know about child eating and that is exposure is key. I know my child needs to see a lot of things before he will touch that thing and he needs to touch that thing a lot of times before he will pick it up and put it in his mouth and then spit it out. He needs to put it in his mouth and spit it out a bunch of times before he will possibly maybe swallow it. And I also understand that my child is also a human being and just like there's foods that I don't like to eat, there are some foods that my child will just never like to eat. I've learned one very important lesson in motherhood and that is feeding children is hard. It is hard from the minute they are born until probably, I don't know, I send them off to college. So while it is important to me that I give my child a wide variety of foods, I continue to expose him to foods even if I don't think he's going to eat them. I also believe that at the end of the day, as long as that child's tummy is full and he is loved, I've done my job. And I'm just saying this because I feel like if you're watching this video, there's probably a chance that you're like, my child is kind of tricky to feed and I need some tips and I want you to know you're doing a good job. Feeding kids is hard. Also, just for clarification, I'm going to be showing breakfast through dinner. My son does get a cup of milk when he first wakes up in the morning, and then he does get a cup of milk right before he goes to bed as well. Okay, so day one for breakfast, Miles is going to help me make a batch of veggie pancakes. I love doing these because one, it's super quick and super easy. Two, I always make extra of these. I put them in the freezer and then you can just throw them in the toaster for really quick breakfasts in the future. And three, it helps to use up vegetables that are in your fridge. So basically what you're going to do is just grate up vegetables. I'm doing broccoli, but you can use pretty much anything. Carrots work really great, sweet potatoes, zucchini, kind of whatever's left over in your fridge. And you're just gonna mix it into pancake mix. I'm using a pre-made mix. You can use whatever your go-to pancake recipe is. And then you're just gonna cook these pancakes as normal. I'm gonna serve these up to Miles with some halved blueberries berries. And then Miles loves to dip his foods and I didn't have any syrup. So I just watered down a little bit of um, jam we had from like a local shop and I gave this to Miles as a sauce and we were good for breakfast. Our morning snack was a cheese stick because we went out for a walk that morning and I got myself an iced coffee and Miles is obsessed with the cheese sticks from Starbucks. I don't know like how these things are different than the grocery store ones, but he will eat them in like 30 seconds and the ones that I buy at the store he like maybe will eat sometimes. For lunch, we had some leftover vegetable soup from that Michael and I ate last night. So I'm just gonna drain off the broth. And then I'm just serving this with some peanut butter toast and then these little harvest snap like cracker thing. They're like little puffs that are made from snap peas. Miles really likes them. Also, like I said, I wanna share some of my favorite food related items in this video. So this is our high chair and it's the Lalo high chair. We used to use the Abbey Beyond high chair, but we switched to this one. And the main reason is it is so freaking easy to clean and considering how much of a mess my child can make when he is eating. <laughs> It has been a huge game changer. It also looks pretty nice in our dining room, which really doesn't hurt. The only thing that I wish that it did is I wish that the tray pushed back a little closer to Miles. Like I said, we switched from the Abbey Beyond and we're very happy with this one. Also, this is the water cup that I use with Miles every single day. He just has one water cup. It's just a simple straw cup with a top, so it's really easy to travel with. I fill it with water first thing in the morning and then Miles uses it all day long. All right, afternoon snack. Miles has woken up from his nap and we're gonna split a smoothie. I'm just mixing up banana, some frozen mango and pineapple, spinach, and some flax seeds with a splash of water and milk.
For dinner that night, Michael and I had chicken tostados and I gave Miles sort of a deconstructed version of this. I just swapped out the sour cream for plain Greek yogurt and he really liked that, but he actually ended up asking to eat some of mine and he ate about half of one of my tostados. Miles really likes things like sandwiches and wraps, but he's still sort of figuring out how to eat them. Y'all should see a little later in this video is the first time that like he actually fed himself a wrap. So I don't mind with these sort of things. I'm still sort of like feeding it to him because he needs a little help figuring it out. All right, we're on to day two. We're having just some cottage cheese with some chia seeds on top and then some fruit for breakfast. Miles loves cottage cheese, so we usually have this a couple times a week. For morning snack, Miles wasn't super hungry. I offered him a couple of these like Annie's cheddar bunnies. For lunch on this day, I'm making one of my go-tos, which is just like a little snack platter because I feel like it's an easy way to use up some things that are in the fridge as well as expose them to new stuff. And one company that I do use is Nurture Life. They sell toddler and kid meals. They used to be subscription based, but now you can buy just like single servings if you want. So I'll buy a couple at a time and put them in my freezer and then pull out maybe one a week. And I like these little bite ones because you can just take a couple spoonfuls and put it on his plate every day to expose him to something new. So this one is raisins with sweet potatoes. I'm also doing some cut up ham and one of the veggies should taste good muffins. Raspberries and strawberries. That's a muffin. Muffin. The muffin is sweet. <laughs> it's good. Go ahead and try it. Afternoon snack was just something quick on the go because we were going outside to play. So I gave him one of these plum organic pouches. I get the ones that are like veggie, extra veggies. I don't know, it makes me feel better, like he's getting more vegetables. I do highly, highly suggest that you get the chew me tops for them. These things are amazing if your child eats any kind of pouches, fruit pouches, yogurt pouches, applesauce, because it allows them to bite down in the top and get the puree out, but if they squeeze on the bag, it can't come out. So the chew me tops are so helpful for that because you don't have to worry about a mess while they eat them. For dinner, I am making our go-to pasta sauce. This is so simple and it's a huge hit in our house. I love it, my husband loves it, and it is the only red sauce that Miles will eat. He will not eat like the canned stuff or the jarred stuff, but he loves this one. And I just recently shared a recipe for how to do it on my Instagram, and I saved it to the recipe story highlight on my profile. So if you're interested, I will have a link to my Instagram down below. But it has a bunch of tomatoes in it, some sausage, some red peppers, and Miles literally never turns it down. And I'm just gonna give it to him with some cut spaghetti and some grapes. This cut spaghetti that he has, by the way, you can actually buy it like this. This cut which is really cool I feel like maybe it's designed for soup but it works really great for toddlers on to day three I actually had a really early appointment this morning and Michael had asked if I could bring home McDonald's breakfast for him because we had not had any fast food in probably about 11 weeks since the beginning of quarantine so he wanted it as a treat so I'm just giving Miles a portion of my hash brown some egg sandwich and then I'm just serving it with some raspberries we're having a good old-fashioned American fast food breakfast Miles wasn't hungry for a morning snack, probably because we had his breakfast a little bit late this day. So for lunch, we're just having peanut butter and jellies. I'm cutting them into strips. And then I cut a couple of them into cubes. For some reason, sometimes Miles prefers things like more bite-sized. So I'll do a couple of cubes, which he's more inclined to try it, and then he'll eat the rest as strips. And then I'm just pairing this with some really thinly sliced cucumbers. Miles did not like cucumbers for a long time, and he just recently started eating them. So this is one of those examples of something where I stuck with it, I kept offering it, and now he usually almost will always eat cucumbers. I'm also throwing in a couple of his harvest snaps and about a quarter of a chocolate chip cookie. After nap, we're having another smoothie. We like to have smoothies a lot because I love them and Miles loves them. It's really just one of our go-tos. And I tend to sort of stick with the same recipe for a week or two until I've exhausted all of those ingredients and then go for something new. But in general, it's usually a mixture of some fruits with banana and then always spinach. For dinner, I cooked Miles up a little piece of salmon that I was having for dinner. He hadn't had fish in a while, so I wasn't really sure if he was gonna want it. He loved it as a baby. Um, but I also decided to serve it with some toast sticks because I knew he would eat those and then some avocado and potato which he would maybe eat and then I decided to also give him some ketchup on the side. Personally I hate ketchup but Miles loves it and like I said earlier he really loves to dip things so I thought that maybe giving him ketchup to dip the stuff in would make him more likely to try it. On to day four, we were having bagels and fruit as a family breakfast, but Miles got hungry a little bit before Michael and I sat down. So I gave him a couple of pieces of fruit to snack on, and then we all sat down and have, had our bagels with fruit. 
And then for his morning snack, I just gave him the leftovers of the rest of the fruit we had. It was some blueberries and strawberries. And for lunchtime, I'm gonna make him another snack platter. This time I'm just giving him a little cup of plain Greek yogurt to dip in. And for dinner, we're having the leftover pasta with red sauce. I'm also serving him some broccoli. This is an item that he has never eaten. He's always refused to eat it. Um, but I had cut some up for Michael and I had have for dinner, so it was available. I just quickly steamed some in the microwave and gave it to him just really for exposure. I wasn't expecting him to eat it. I also tried a little trick that I've done before where I try to let him feed me the broccoli. Um, he didn't eat it this time around, but he was willing to touch it to give me some, so we made a little bit of progress. Okay, on to our final day, day five. For breakfast, my husband and I had some scrambled eggs with toast and I made Miles's into a little wrap. So I wrapped it up in a whole wheat tortilla with a little bit of cheese, some avocado, and then a little bit of ketchup. And at first he wanted me to feed it to him, but then he actually started eating it himself, which is great. Like I said, he's never really been great about, for some reason, like eating full sandwiches or like full large pieces of things where he has to take big bites out of it. Um, so he did really great with this and he ate like almost the entire burrito. For Miles' lunch, I actually pulled out another Nurture Life um, item from the freezer and it's their cauliflower macaroni and cheese. And I'm serving this with some avocado and some cut up grapes. And then Miles actually brought me some V8 from the refrigerator. He actually really likes tomato juice. And so I poured him some of this and I'm actually using our Easy Peasy Open Cup. This is our my favorite open cup for toddlers. It's just like the perfect size for his hand. It's weighted on the bottom and we really, really like it. For afternoon snack this day, Miles and I decided to walk into town and split a smoothie from a sort of smoothie fruit bowl place that we have in town. And for dinner, we're just having the last little bit of leftover pasta with red sauce. All right guys, that does it. That is everything that my toddler ate in a week slash five days, tomato, tomato, right? I hope that you enjoyed this video and maybe it gave you some like different ideas to give your kids. I know I personally get stuck into like ruts of feeding my child the same thing. I try to use little tricks to switch it up. I always try to give Miles something modified that we had for dinner. And I also do like using companies like Nurture Life that just sort of send things and I can sort of use it throughout the week and it's maybe something different that I don't always buy at the grocery store. Like I said, there's a link down below with links to all of the toddler feeding products that you would have seen in this video. As always, thank you so much for stopping by and watching, and I will see you all in my next video. <laughs> nom 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 nom. <laughs> Those are gum nummy faces. Nom nom nom. <laughs>